masked man woke up. He found that his client's $100,000 custom-made urn was covered in graffiti, and she couldn't wipe it off. Obviously, this is a great disrespect to the deceased. This urn can no longer be used, so the man called the factory. He wanted to make another one exactly the same, but the client is going to use it in two hours. There was no time to spare. The man had no choice but to meet the client. The man apprehensively handed over the colorful urn to the client. He was ready to bear everything, but the strange thing is, not only did he not get the scolding he expected, the client was very touched. They bowed to him and thanked him. It turned out that the deceased was their daughter. Her greatest hobby was painting. To show his gratitude, the customer gave him a big red packet. The man never thought. The girl he took in in a moment of weakness had helped him so much. The man's name is Roy, but he prefers to be called third brother. When he was young, he went to jail for fighting with someone over his girlfriend. That's why he was forced to follow his father's footsteps. He became a mortician, a job that everyone hates. But this job is much more difficult than he imagined. That day, he was arranging the remains of the deceased when a little girl suddenly appeared. The little girl didn't realize her grandmother was gone. She screamed at Roy to stay away from her grandmother. Luckily, the girl's uncle appeared in time to carry her out. But the worst was yet to come. After Roy finished cleaning up the deceased's body, the family realized that the gold ring on the victim's hand was missing. As the last ones to touch the victim, Roy and his colleague became the prime suspects. The family blamed them for stealing from the dead.